Hi, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about annotation. I've been getting a lot of questions about annotation and how I do it from some of my friends in my book group that I created. Would you like to say hello, Shadow? Would you? So I'm going to be showing you guys some of my most annotated books as well as ones that are from when I started annotating or like an example of um, books I just kind of gave up on with the annotation. So first I'm going to go over my annotation collection. There's some people on booktube that have a lot more than I do. So if you think this is a lot, this is nothing. Alright, so in here um, I have some double sided tape and some regular tape. Alright, so these are what I used when I very first started out, but the problem with these is that because you can't see through them, if you have to reread the book, you can't really see much. Um, and then I also have these, which in my opinion are too thick this way. So these are good for like if you want to do the top of the book, but doing the side, I don't, I'm not a big fan of. And then lastly for the star I also have ones like this which I still use sometimes they have like little points on the end that's like my um when I run out of color and I have no other option no other choice all right then you're gonna need some highlighters um I don't know where my highlighters are right now so I'm just using markers this is my favorite one to use at the moment um it is by Crayola it's just from Super Tips. I'm not sure of what the shade is. It doesn't have a shade name on it. And I also have this blue one, but this one bleeds through everything and I hate it. So then most annotation um, flags, I think they're called. Tabs. Tabs. Annotation tabs. Um, Looks something like this. This one's one of my um, very very used ones. I'm currently using it to annotate my copy of The Magic Thief, which is right here. As you can see, I barely made a dent into it. Over on this side is, um, you can use things like these instead of a highlighter if you're like really nervous about ruining a book or something and you don't want to ruin it, you can use these, which is what I did in the beginning. Um, just so you guys know, I also keep my bookmarks in here. So these are not anything for annotation, they're just bookmarks, if you've ever seen my videos. So yeah, I have a ton of tabs like these, but I'm starting to get really low. I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those, and I have one thing left of the highlighter stickies. Alright, so the first example that I have for you guys is, this is one of my favorite books, but I gave up on the annotations really quick into it. So I plan on rereading and redoing this one really soon. Um, unfortunately, I just did not have patience for it. And like, I made it a thing that every chapter I had to take a sticky note, write down everything that happened. No, you don't have to do all that. Just because I seen somebody else do it. it made me think I had to. So, also, it's up to you and your tabbing system, but tabs sticking out like that is not a great idea because it'll get plucked out really easily. Alright, and then the next example I have is my... Twilight book. So as you can see, these stick out really, really far. 
but this actually has, let's try to find one where you can really see it. This is like one of my examples of where I have the highlighter stickies. Um, granted, today, if I was to do this, I would, in the first couple of, oh, I did. I just didn't write it next to it. This is my old tabbing system. Um, if you guys want to use it, because it's great for beginners, go ahead and take a screenshot. But see how far those are all sticking out? That drives me nuts now. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I clamp after myself as I go. Alright, and this is definitely one of my earlier examples of tabbing. But I think I also ran out of colors. I had to have because otherwise I don't think I would have at this point used those tabs. So this was one of my original tabbing systems. I mean if that's your thing, that's your thing. And I just realized how far my camera fell. So yeah, if that's your thing to tab like that, hey, that's on you. Good for you. I just can't. Alright, next in my tabbing history, we have It Ends With Us, which again, you can see a lot of the paper tabbing rather than the plastic tabbing. And like, it's so jammed, packed, full. But one of the biggest paper tabs that I have in here, though, is, um, I feel like most people have read It Ends With Us. So, I kind of feel comfortable um, explaining what the one tab means. So, this tab here told me when I was rereading it where um, all of her Ellen Obsession stuff starts and ends. And you can see there's a lot of that in this book. She wrote letters to Ellen in her diary. That goes up there, and he's up there, and I'm not bothering him right now. And then I didn't have to do that as much with It Ends With Us. I started a little bit more of my plastic tabbing here. Or did I say It Ends With Us again? I meant It Starts With Us. Alright, so the next thing I tabbed, and this is my second tabbing of this. I went back and fixed it. Um, this is It Ends With Us. Or the Wicked Ones by Robin Benway. And this was my tabs for this. The fl um, flag tabs, I will tell you right now, barely stick to themselves even, let alone anything else. But this looks a lot better than some of my other old tabbing. And I'll probably eventually get more tabs to go back and fix this because I'm not, you know. The next thing and second to last thing that I have tabbed, and that is my copy of Forgotten by Cat Patrick. This is my baby. This is one of my favorite books ever right now. It's an incredible book. And this is my tabs in it. They still stick out a little bit further than I would do now, and I just tabbed this a couple weeks ago. I'm getting so much better at my tabbing. But again, I had a system for it. And then finally we have the Ravens, which you guys see me tab in a vlog. And some of them still stick out further than I would like, but for just starting to learn how to tab better, I think it's not bad. And if you're curious, um, just so you know, this has some um, spoilers when I show you this.
Um, this is one of the examples I was actually using to help some people that I know learn about tabbing. And I kind of showed them, you know, this is how I do it, but that doesn't mean you have to do it that way. And I feel like I'm doing a really terrible job at explaining tabbing and how it works. So I'm going to use my current tabbing project as my example. So these are my tab guides. So green means um, this book started it all for me because there's a lot of like references to other pop culture things. I've noticed in this book that went way over my head the first time I read it when I was a kid. Um, mint blue is for plot points. Yellowy orange is for this is why I like Harry Potter now because it's one of the biggest reference I've, references I've been noticing. Um, dark blue is for question mark, question mark, but I'm like, what, what's this even for? Red is, why is this dude so grumpy? And a tan color is for, why is this dude's bodyguard so grumpy? And I'm currently on the second page of chapter five. Um, I don't write in mine, I only tab. Or, like, I will highlight or something like that, but that's the extent of how I tab. So, I know this was a really short video and probably didn't help much, but, yeah, this is my system for tabbing, and I hope it helps some of you guys.